are going to do our calendar time together. I miss all of you, but I'm glad that we can have this time together for sure. What is the date today? Do we know? Hmm, let's try and figure it out. Let's see. Oh, this is still the same. This is our month. It looks the same as it did last week. This is the month of April. And we have an umbrella there. Remember the umbrella? Because sometimes it rains and April is in spring. And springtime sometimes is rainy, right? So that all of the trees and the grass and the flowers can grow. So our month is April and our date is the 21st. Can you see that? It's a two and a one. Two and a one makes 21. So it is April 21st, 2020. And let's see, can we figure out what day it is? Hmm. Yesterday was Monday, and tomorrow is Wednesday, so we're going to move this right there to our yellow rectangle. Monday was yesterday, tomorrow is Wednesday, that means today is Tuesday. If you said Tuesday, you're so smart, you were thinking hard. We will sing our Days of the Week song to make sure you are right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So did we get it right? Tuesday, that's right. Tuesday is our day today. It is Tuesday, April 21st. 2020. Good job. Stand up, stand up. Let's sing our months of the year song. We have to shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Deep breath in. Are we ready to sing? Okay. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are so smart, and I'm so proud of you. Now, do you notice that we have a new letter this week? A brand new letter. Our letter R is not there anymore. We're all done learning about the letter R. This week, we're going to learn about this letter. Do you know what letter this is? I didn't hear you. Say it louder. Did you say Q? It is the letter Q. And this is the uppercase Q. This is the lowercase q. They do not look the same, right? Some of our letters look the same for the uppercase and lowercase. The q does not. It looks like an o with a line in the middle, doesn't it? An o with a line. That's Mr. Q, and we're going to learn all about the letter q this week and do some fun q activities. What sound does the letter q make? Does anybody at home know? It's qua, qua. Can you say it with me? Qua, qua. And to do the letter Q in sign language, if you put your hand up and now point to the ground and use your thumb and point to the ground. So you have your hand up and you use your first finger and your thumb and point to the ground. That is the letter Q in sign language. Q says qua, and that is how you would say it in sign language. Good job. All right, let's look at our picture cards today and see what pictures we have. What is that? Who is that? That's a queen. That's a queen. And qua, qua, do you hear it? Queen starts with the letter Q. 
What else is over here? Ooh, that one's a hard one. It looks like a blanket, and it's a special kind of blanket because it has squares on it. It's called a quilt. A quilt. Some of you might have a quilt at home. It's a special blanket that has all different squares on it. Let's review a color and a shape this week. Let's see. Hmm, what color is this right here? Do you know? Did you say brown? Brown, that is the color brown. That's right. We will look for things that are brown this week. And let's see, what shape is this? If you said square, you're right. You're so smart. That is a square. So we will work on the letter Q, the color brown, and the square shape this week. All right, it's time to do some counting. Let's see if we can fit some gumballs into our gumball machine. Hmm. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, should we add more? Hmm, 10, 11, 12, 13, should we keep going? I don't know, I don't know if we can fit that many in here. Let's see, we were on 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, hmm. Should we add one right here? Did you say yes? Oh, let's do it. 20. Let's see, did Miss Stacy put them in correctly to see if we have 20? Let's count, just in case, because you know, sometimes Miss Stacy messes up too. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Whew. Good thing Miss Stacy didn't mess up. We have 20 gumballs. Good job. And they all fit in there and none of them are coming out. That's good too. We don't want to lose any of our gumballs. Now it's time to do our weather. Have you looked outside today? Do you know what your weather is like? I think that we're supposed to get some really nice weather this week and hopefully we can play outside. We'll have to see, we're crossing our fingers. Hopefully we can play outside and get lots of good outside times. I hope that you are going outside and playing. All right, let's see, hmm. Oh, we need to sing our weather song. I almost forgot. Put your binoculars on, okay. Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like. Tell us what the weather's like. Won't you please? Won't you please? Okay, you're all weather watchers since you're home. You get to be your weather watcher for your house. Let's see, go outside. Tell me what the weather's like. Is it? Windy? Maybe. Is it snowy? Maybe. Hopefully not. Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? How about foggy? Is it foggy outside? Or maybe it's rainy outside. Or maybe it's one of both. Maybe it's foggy and rainy. Or maybe it's sunny with a little bit of clouds. 
sunny and cloudy somewhere in the middle. So you make sure that you look outside at some point today. Go outside and tell your special adult what the weather is like. And make sure that you're dressing like you should for the weather. We've talked about that in class. If it's raining, you should have your umbrella, right? Or your raincoat. If it's snowing, you should probably have your flip-flops on. Oh, no, you don't have flip-flops in the snow, Miss Stacy. So silly. What should you have if it's snowing on your feet? Should they be covered? Yep. You should probably have your feet covered with snow boots. So make sure when you go outside to play that you have the right clothes on to wear. So you're not too cold and not too hot. All right. I love you guys. I miss all of you. Make sure you're working on your letter cue this week and doing all of the activities that I'm sending you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.